Well, let's see. Here goes nothing. Into the feeder we go. Wow. We dodged a bunch of 30 percenters there. That was nice. Minus stress on echoing march and crush is pretty good. Yes, the infernal torch no longer puts your torch at level at one. Uh, it now provides other far worse uh, things and does not come with the arguable benefit of making certain trinkets reliable. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. Okay, so looks like we can go lair into Creature Den, which we like. We're going to be ruining our wheels a bit more. And then we can even after Creature Den take a hard right to Resistance Encounter Field Hospital Hoarder, which I like. There's a lot of loathing between us and that. We can We can go over this way to mitigate it a little bit, go to the vintage collection for more wine potentially. So we pick up one loathing here, then two loathing here. This goes back down to one. Then we pick up this to two back down. Okay, I think that works. But we're uh, we're locked in on our path, I think that means. Is your coach prepared for the upcoming obstruction? Is my coach prepared for the upcoming obstruction? No. Its armor plating is not locust proof. I should have uh, I should have made it locust proof. Oh, and I just realized we have we have Dismiss in position two, which is a shame. Let's see, you and Moth are pretty happy. So we'll do that. Really wish I had a point blank shot right now. I just want to get the dodge up to try and make things a little less, uh, a little less potentially terrible. Excellent work. Dodges, they do nothing. Forty-two. I mean, let's light him at everybody on fire. We know we can land that with some reliability. Just kidding. Looking sharp, Rusty. Looking sharp. Damn it. Oh, they don't have death death store anymore, or they don't have uh, death blow resist anymore. That's good news. Lethality writ large. So, what is your powerful thing? I think it's excor. Is it excoriate? That's your powerful attack. I think it's billowous mortar. So I'm going to defend her here. We need some more combo now to get uh, to get our stuns going. Oh, we did pick up a taunt token there. That's not great. Okay, but the bill it was indeed Billows Mortar. So we like that. I'm going to use play grenade here because I don't want to use up the combo. The enemy weakens and wanes. I'd rather get the chance of a stun here. We are going to pick up another taunt token, which is interesting. application of violence yields morbid gains. Morbid gains indeed. Good payday there. 
Yeah, so let's look at the Infernal Torch really quickly, just so everybody's on the same page. So we're using the Stygian Blaze, which is uh, minus 20% max HP, plus 10% to negative relationship, minus 10% to positive relationship. On Meltdowns, you're going to gain a Vulnerable and a Weak. On Resolute, you'll gain Crit. Uh, traveling Flame Drain increased by 20%, 100% uh, chance of enemy advantage. Hey, Sir Farquad, we are we are on the fifth chapter. We are going to be confronting the final boss with the Stygian Blaze for uh, for the hard mode achievement. Hopefully, but there's no upside. What, upside? Why you came? What are you talking about? <laughs> It's all it's all downside. I guess you get more candles technically, but uh, barely barely counts. A place of research and inquiry. Okay, I can get the wine. Prestigious career. Yeah, I want I want the wine. Again. Abandoned or forgotten, it is ours now. Yes, more more candles, Hardy Har. Uh, okay, well, we are gonna go kill the lair boss, I hope. I'm a little nervous. This lair boss puts out some damage, and, uh, and we... Do we, we upgrade it in Discriminant Science? It is on our bar, okay. Oh, we may also get a ambush at some point, because I, I, yeah, I did, yeah, I did not plan out our, our armor usage very effectively. Oh, crit on resolute, yeah. Like like that ever happens. They're like 0% chance of resolute. And then, uh, let's see. I do want to leave Hama here for this fight. I mean, it, it has its challenges, Sir Farquaad, but I, I think it might be a little less punishing than its, uh, than its predecessor also. The landowner's manner. Do you hear the child's cries? Excuse me. I'm hoping we do 14 damage with Grape Shot. May only be 10? Oh, it's 13. Dang. Leaving them both at 1 HP. Hopefully we light them on fire. Nice. Mm. We just got a uh, an achievement get. Uh, predator kill 100 creatures. Well, I'm I'm here for you. Uh, why you came? I'm I try. <laughs> All right, we are off to the races. I'm hoping we get some good uh, blight trinkets for uh, for our plague doctor. Gosh, just killing her is so good. Promising development. Five to ten isn't that great here. Sir Farquaad, did you not own the original? Because they uh, they definitely put a pretty nice discount on it. Not not to say that that fully fixes it. Oh, didn't have the original. Wow. Did you did you ever play the original? Because the original is is a classic, and nowadays you can buy it for uh, for pretty pretty short money. Finishing it took me a long time too, I will say. Ooh, no uh no bonuses there. Alright. Yeah, it is a fantastic Switch game, that is for certain.
You're at eight hit points. We're not really getting you sorted. I think I will do that. We might have wanted to save that for the boss. I suspect you're you're good to go. So let's just do that. The fiend's strength dwindles. Didn't like but respected. I get that. I think I think everyone has their own uh, their own relationships with such things. Four to nine, we could get it. I mean, I think I'd rather. Oh, you have a crit token. Let's let's not let you crit. That doesn't sound like very much fun to me. Ah, smoldering hymnal, paying dividends. Yeah, Slay the Spire is is an all time, an all time great as well. Love me Slay the Spire, some Slay the Spire. Haven't played it in a long time, but uh, but just just so consistently amazing. Uh, that Slay the Spire is a game that I I love, but I will very happily watch other people play. Ooh, Severed Finger is an interesting get. Severed Fingy. Galvanizing Goblet and Kitchen Knives. These are, that's a good set right, setup right there. I do not think I will be using the bumper crop. But let's, uh, let's throw down with the Harvest Child. Cross your fingers, bad RNG can be very bad on this fight. The harvest is here. Pity those wow, that was a very fast pain. roll there. Um, very annoying. Damn, that was, that was actually brutal. Uh, I hate that. Ooh, the resist there too is rough. I'm gonna set him back, hopefully. All right, did not succeed, but we got you off the front line. But yeah, this thing, this thing with a has a low speed and still managed to outspeed our our level eights here, which was really frustrating. Um, like you have a five speed, and both of our level eights got taken down. We should probably increase our torch also. A breakthrough. The blinds stink as well. Welcome relief from caustic agony. Good hit. And lands the blight. That's huge. We can't really protect our highwaymen, so we're just gonna we're just gonna take them all of life here. Hey, Art, how's it going? Having a bit of a juggle comp makes this a little more straightforward. Oh, I love that. I think I think I will up our torchlight just a little bit here. Man, we haven't landed any blights there. The blind failing there is a bummer. I think we just keep going for the burn down. We're we're not quite at the we're not quite at the point where we need to start healing, I think. Maws of life here again is gonna be annoying, but No crits feels good. And then we're out. Okay. We survived. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. I have to I have to say sorry. This game, it seems to have it has a plot. Cough cough. 
Yeah, I'm doing well. Life is good. Life is good. We, uh, we picked up some good trinkets here for our plague doctor. And then there's no real, va there's no real harm in, like, royal summons, we're not moving around that much. We could certainly play more around it, but kind of like going for this and sticking with slice off. The bleed is really nice. We get some extra damage. We do take a bit more bleed, but it's not terrible. Might as well put this here. And... Yeah, we uh, we need to go visit our our friend the general, I think. And a little travel healing here would be really nice, since we are about to go into ahead, a bestial refuge. We're about to go into the uh, bones and less the thick of things. Remains. I don't think we need our smoke bomb for this particular fight. The medicinal herbs would be good to have on someone. How's our torch? We just increased our torch. So I think we can we can swap these out to make sure that we have some cures. One wheel down. Severed Finger, I, I'm a big fan of Severed Finger. I think it's best with the Intermezzo Jester solo finale build, but it's quite good here too. Uh, any skills we wanna switch up here? I don't think so. Now that the dogs have been changed, not these dogs, but the other dogs. Uh, let's see, who? Katniss, you and Hama, we're not gonna be able to get any progress on that. Rusty has the option to get some here and here. Hama's relationships are just struggling a little bit. But basically this is a, this is a rich get richer situation. So anything to gain? Too many sneezes. Uh, I think we can just do this one. We might as well take the debuff. Are you thinking about it, Stefan? Ooh, hello. I did not expect... I did not expect an ambush. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. I don't think these guys can hit the back rank. Thing. So I actually think rather than doing Encore, which would be pretty valuable, I'm just going to move forward because this protects uh, this protects us quite nicely. Uh, we can clear the corpse here just so that nobody transforms in this particular moment. Yeah, it, taking a bunch of hits on Katniss would have been like, we're going to have to... Uh, prioritize protecting Katniss just because of the the incredible fragility of 20 hit points with uh, with that. I mean, by the time you pick it up, it's uh, it's quite possible that it will uh, someone will have made a mod that that removes the differences. Um. <laughs> I wish I could get some buffs here to get to get some decent healing. Um, I'm gonna do a little baby heal here, just because I don't want to put battlefield medicine on cooldown. I mean, I, Stefan, I think it's going to be really easy to do. Like, all the hard work is done, right? You have the heroes. Like, what do you have to do? You have to make it so that the, so that you can have multiple of heroes on a roster. Uh, and, like, just a handful of other, like, minor things. Now, let's see. You're the same way where you can mulch and pulverize. So, we just want to... What do we want to do here? I think probably the Encore here is the right call. Yeah, I, I think it seems very doable. So I expect it is uh, it is coming soon, but mod support is gonna take a minute for sure. We still don't have improved take aim, unfortunately. I can't believe we still had an invasiveness from the beginning there.
So this works out super well. I think we we're kind of hoping that. Yeah. Oh, the days kind of ruins it, doesn't it? Um, I think we might as well go though. We'll get back the crit token for killing the corpse. So. Yeah. So these guys, or these dogs are slightly different, I think. But we can, we can strip away a lot of a lot of dodge here. So I think I like that. And this is this is perfect timing because the second slice off will fully remove that. We got huge bleed going here. Great grape shot. This is this is about as good as it gets for us right now. That fetch is annoying, but. We'll just keep the taunt up, and then we're hoping we get one more heal off with Katniss before the fight uh, disappears. The fact that that didn't eat was great. Okay, so it's just a matter of how well this doggo rolls. Doggo rolled too well. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we get the kill there. Thirty-six point heal. Oh, the humanity! All right. Greater threats await those who dare. Ooh, some risk of rain too. Uh, that's awfully nice. Okay, we got a bit of party heal with an extra mastery. We like that. Battlefield medicine has no cooldown, but is limited. It has a cooldown. Oh, it does not have a cooldown. You are correct. Good, uh, good eye. All right, so we, I said I wanted to go, I think, hard right here. We pick up the Loathing, then we immediately shed it. And then that gives us the opportunity to hit a Hoarder and a Hospital. And yeah, we're, we're good on, on resources, so I think that's the play. We've been managing stress pretty effectively. I, you know what I would really like for this run? And it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to get because if we buy it at the hospital, we won't necessarily have the money at the hoarder for what we need to do. But uh, travel healing, a little a travel healing item like the the medicine chest would be pretty good. But yeah, you were right, Sir Farquad. They emptied their larders, forging themselves as the world began to crumble. All right, Death Seeker giving us a vulnerable token on everyone. Oh, this fight again. Empowered, emboldened. Here's what I think we do. I think we encore so we can do point blank shot into grape shot. Because this will be his official turn. So he's put to potentially get strength and a crit. Uh, 15. I mean, removing one of these just seems like it's too good to pass up. As much as I wanted to put some, like, some random damage in on, on her. Now, unfortunately, she does not, uh, does not behave herself when it comes to, yeah. That was a that was a free action from uh, from kitchen knives actually. Gonna put up the defender because again, Billows Mortar is potentially waiting in the wings thanks to uh, its corpulence. Yes, yeah, so on Blight Resist, there's a 20% chance of an extra action. Very hard to uh, to make that one work, but kind of neat. Four, 
Four to nine. We probably don't get the kill here. Uh, that was probably a waste. Gonna try to go for the blind here. Yeah, Kitchen Knives, I very rarely get to take advantage of it. I think we just finish the fight. Or try to, that is. Fifteen percent, I think we go for the heal here. In crisis, we can I'm gonna use a laudanum here to keep you off other. the off the edge. We unfortunately we're not low enough to get another heal here. Let's uh let's cure this. I'm I'm gonna let the dots try and get the kill and I'm gonna hope that Rusty can get the heal off of this. Carrion Eater is a very strong uh pet. We are the flame burning brightly for Ooh. All the world to see. Wow. Brilliant Brew and Greater Hail Draught are both nice pickups here. Trinket Organizer, I tell ya. Do not underestimate. Kitchen Knives is pretty good. Brilliant Brew is pretty good too, though. I think I'll do that for now. We could even put... I mean, we could put Kitchen Knives here. There's no real harm to that. Decidedly inconvenient. You are my you are my trinket organizer, Braymobile. You are. I don't think I've ever had a run that has been so uh, so stress limited. It's kind of amazing. Like we're we've been sitting at zero stress pretty much perpetually, and our relationships are looking good. She heals the injuries of others while ignoring her own. The only thing on here of any real interest. There's a possibility we don't get a chance to get some holy water before the exemplar. Didn't we? Have, we picked up. Oh, yeah, we picked up Field Surgeon here. Granted, it hasn't procced, but it's so game changing when it does. I don't know. Like, this this trio, if I could lock all of them, holy cow. Like, evasive is good, but not great. Because we, we're going to be taking hits. I don't really like the negative relationship chance. Field Surgeon, it's really unreliable, but it's kind of game-changing when it happens. Let's trust in the heart of the cards. The problem is once we lock this, we can't lock anything else. I can't believe we had a meltdown on Rusty. Ah, I'm going to roll the dice on it. Rusty's our field surgeon. Are you are you tempting fate right now, Treasure? Is that what you're doing? You trying to, to sabotage me through uh through foul intent? How how is that possible, Hama and Katniss? Holy cow, I'm gonna just they're gonna drink seven gallons of wine. That's all there is to it. But yeah, so far I think we've done a good job with the bosses. I prefer to describe it that way than uh than the other way around. A master stroke. Probably should have went for the double play grenade, but I saw the opportunity for a, a cheeky stun here. I 
How come Resolute doesn't give you Mire Resolute chance? I'm not sure I fully understood, Bray. The enemy weakens and wanes. God. Look at that. Six for five turns. Our play grenade is pumping out 60 damage. Think about that for a second. The work continues. Yeah, six for five turns on two targets. Yep. Ooh, I really should have... Uh... Okay, well, we got the Laudanum Pop anyways. Yeah, that is, that is a bonkers amount of damage. Nobody even needs the healing from corpses. The only problem is we don't have an easy way for our Plague Doctor to take out corpses. And Magnesium Rain, despite clearing corpses, clearing corpses is different than killing them from in the eyes of the Carrion Eater. So... So many of our relationships are at 18, and then I think it's like Katniss and Hama are like 9. All right, big money, no whammies here. What are you going to give me? What an embarrassment of riches. Ooh, Poison Ring used to be good. It is no longer. Curing Kappa doesn't really, doesn't really do it. Sparkle Ball is interesting. I did say I wanted more travel healing. It didn't come from where we expected it to come from, but... You know, the shrine map should probably be removed from the game when they remove hero shrines from the game. Cough, cough. Uh, Hint of Home is pretty interesting. For Rusty. Probably better than... Probably better than Kitchen Knives. So once you have uh, once you have all of the heroes on your current expedition uh, fully unlocked, they no longer they're no longer hero shrines. Yeah, sixty nine, nice. <laughs> um, let's see. So we'll pick up one more of these. I'm tempted just to save, but I kind of feel like Hint of Home is a pretty nice. It's a pretty nice one. Yeah, I'll grab that. We're still sitting at 105. And then do I want this? This would this would put us at exactly 65, which means you can still afford one good trinket. I think it is worth having the medical equipment for the travel healing. We've been struggling a bit with travel healing. I think that means kitchen knives is is no longer getting used. Yeah. Yeah, I think Buttressing Band, Stirring Snuff, and Kitchen Knives can go. And then were there any weapons? Having an Icker Bomb is, is never a bad thing. If hit points greater than 75, eh. There is kind of like a, a there is kind of like a curing cuppa kitchen knives tank build. Sparkle Bowl was the other thing I was thinking about, but I don't think we need it. So I'm gonna grab two thunderclap grenades and the Icker Bomb, and we're gonna call it there. Okay, that was that was a good that was a good pickup for us for sure. And then I don't mind doing an assistance encounter. I don't think we need a cultist fight. Yeah, we're we're looking for a general. We bought that linseed oil very early. Uh, by the way, uh, latest hotfix, Reverberating Redoubt now counts as armor, which is insane. It means that that plus storage room key, chef's kiss. Ah, 
Oh, resistant to bleed. Okay, we're just we're gonna kill a corpse to undo this uh this unfortunateness. I wanted to make the corpse because I think Hama's gonna go very early. And I'm gonna use Encore to guarantee the crit, which I think should mean that, uh, actually, we we may still not get the crit unless we get the strength token, which we only get for first turn. Ah, boo. We get nine damage from that. Man. At least we got the stress heal, but. Who is your relate? How are your relationships? You and Hama? Hama is just not making friends and influencing people. So I, I'm gonna go for another round to get the, the corpse killed. Oh, this guy. Look at this guy. All right, that's fine. But deadly all the same. There we go. Full health. Isn't the key if armor twicket trinket 20% max HP? That's correct. Yes. So so the key you but with that and a bone saw, you can get reverberating redoubt with the with the key, which gives you 25% damage and 20% hit points. Or I might have flipped those two around. But uh, you can you can activate both sides of it and have reverberating redoubt, which is extra actions. So it's kind of like... That's a pretty nice combo. Now I'm curious. I think we just hit our first 20. We're still not going to have 100%. It's only 75% chance. Wow. Well, that's, part of that's because of a quirk that Rusty has. You must be strong enough to shoulder more than your share of the We have 32, so we probably want to do something that is nice for our... You and Hama weren't very friendly. We don't need to get the wheel back because we're going to get the wheel back. This gives us a stagecoach item and 30, but we get no relationship. And we like the relationship here. We don't need the wheel. What's this circle right here? Anyways. Uh, let's just let's just do the torch in the relationship. I think that's good. So far, we've been managing the torch okay. This is a long cornfield. Let's see. Okay, so for the final for the. Uh, for the final boss, I think we do we do it this way. We do have Hmm, we want we want to have the blind available. The clotting powder is probably useful. Let's toss the thunderclaps out there. We are. We are going for the biggest of big bosses. We are. We're going for the final boss with the Stiggy and Blaze. Okay, melee skills. Love to see that. I think it, since we landed the blind, let's uh, let's just go for some backline work. I'm going to put the, the bleed resist there. The key. Great hit. <laughs> Six for seven turns. Can we talk about that for a second? Okay, no more altar. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. And wanes. I don't think we even need the thunderclaps right now. Gosh, where are my where are my crits at? 
Shouldn't shouldn't even bother with that. Okay. No worships for you, big man. Gonna go for the just gonna go for the blind here. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. That's what I'm talking about. Where have you been all my life? There we go. Okay. Minus 33% HP on hit heal for four. We do want to at some point know if this works with Bellow. Uh, the loathing of yeah, seriously, Bray. So do, did I keep the cultist trinket? I did. So we could we could do some science if we wanted to. Uh, the the question is, the question is if you bellow on Rusty. Speaking of which, we might want to have bellow on the board. We haven't been using Rampart much. Rampart is handy sometimes, though. Yeah. But if you if you bellow with Rusty and it hits four targets, do you heal for sixteen with that? Burp. Hama just burped. Why is Hama burping? Probably because of bad digestion. Science greater than winning. Wow, you just want to you want to get all our people killed, Bray? We you monster. Summers of years gone Nervous, slippery. I love slippery rest. on moth, and bon vedant on Katniss. Lovely. We uh, we also haven't picked up a uh, a bounty hunter yet. So that's a thing the that thing mastery. that we could do. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of that. We're gonna have some wine to dole out. What is uh what does the provisioner have? Ooh, a roast pig. We're we're a little broke. If indeed it ever did. I, I don't think I can say no to the roast pig, but we have no food. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Oh, Nervous is a nice pickup. That makes it a little easier for us to to get Snappy Swig consistently. Oh, we did pick up a, uh, a Leaf Suspension, too. Bumper Crop, no thank you. We're going to get one regen on wheels. So let's do that. Okay, let's, let's get some upgrades here. We're using Slice Off a lot. We're using Fade to Black a lot. Using Noxious, Noxious Blast a lot. Tempted just to go paint point blank, take aim, and grape shot. Yeah, I think we do it. I love that that's a little faster now. Okay, let's look at relationships. Hama and Katniss. Yeah, it's Hama and Katniss. All right, let's 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 see how much work we can do here. Hopefully neither of them get too drunk and stop, uh, stop letting me do this. Plus four. Wow. Okay, let's, let's do our, let's do our, uh, our roast pig now and just see where we end up. No spoilage, I promise. So is 15 our lowest now? Yep, 15 is our lowest, Rusty and Hama. Okay, our relationships are looking pretty good. Put that there. But I did just spend a bunch of money on car insurance. We only buy one food, unless you buy really crummy food, which we may do, actually. So we buy one apples and cheese for Rusty, and then... We can't do slime mold. So eight, so eight plus four plus four is 16. So we can afford that. Yeah, I think that's the play. 
That's what we can afford. Because Hama, Hama will not eat slime mold. Oh, bad digestion. They had picky eater before. Okay, well, I guess you're getting slime mold now. I think Rusty's doing okay. I'm not I'm not too worried about Rusty. Okay, well, we've we've come what we came to, to do. Everywhere. Oh, costly. I didn't realize we were sluicing Everywhere. it up. All right. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have done the food play then. But let's uh, let's go. I really want to get the murder weapon. Do we have any chance of negative relationship now? Nope. We've done a good job. Let's avoid some meltdowns. Uh, it is from the. It is from one of the academic studies. Uh, no tell. Are we sciencing? Yeah, we'll science for one. Just to test it out. 